trap there, a few raindrops from the light drizzle and the mist from the low clouds this morning. We do have some patchy fog reducing visibility, some spotty showers on the way in parts of the state today with more sunshine tomorrow. And that's when we'll start to warm back up. We'll be in the 80s on Saturday and some 90s next week. Right now, the fog is the biggest issue. We're at 54 degrees and you can see the humidity is at 100%. These are all prime ingredients for some thick fog. If you need to get somewhere on time today, allow extra time as it will be difficult to see in spots is starting off the coolest around Clarion at 48, much warmer around Centerville at 52, Oskaloosa at 60 degrees. And this is where we have that thick, thick fog. Pella, Newton, Grinnell, Osceola, Lamoni, Creston, all experiencing this reduced visibility with these low clouds hanging around. Where you see the yellow on this map, you win. You saw the most rainfall around two inches. The dark green is indicating a swath of an inch to an inch and a half, some lesser amounts where you see this light blue around Oskaloosa and Ottumwa. But we've got more rain along the eastern border of the state today. This low pressure system is still swirling through. This is keeping rain in the forecast for Northwest Iowa this morning. Right now, right around Pocahontas, near Sac City, Storm Lake, Ida Grove. All of this is spinning around this very strong low pressure system. A few thunderstorms feeding out of Missouri into that Iowa Missouri border, and that's where we could see a few of the thunderstorms to intensify. This is where we have all the ingredients for strong to severe thunderstorms late Saturday, early Sunday. Now, this doesn't impact most of Iowa, but if you are traveling to Okaboji over the weekend, I do want that on top of mind for you. Here come the thunderstorms in southeast Iowa late morning, early this afternoon, with a few more right around Iowa City, Davenport, Mount Pleasant, late in the day, and then the whole system finally exits tonight and tomorrow's when you'll get to see the sunshine and that's when we'll start to heat up. Hopefully you have plans to get outside and enjoy it. A few more clouds on Saturday and then on Sunday it looks windy and hot once again. Again, I want to stress today if we see any measurable rain that will be along the eastern border and that's where we could see an inch plus in a few locations. These are the thunderstorms close to Spencer and Okaboji Saturday night, Sunday morning brushing that Iowa Minnesota border and then Sunday afternoon just looks steamy and on Monday a similar setup. But a few thunderstorms will pop up in that northwest corner by Tuesday morning with more heat in the afternoon. 60s today, these numbers are below average. Tomorrow will be close to where we should be with highs in the mid 70s. 60 this afternoon, mainly cloudy again. Some spotty showers can't be ruled out, but it definitely looks drier than the last couple of days. Few clouds tonight. Dry for any of your grilling plans, and then tomorrow you'll be able to mow. Sunny 75. Put on the sunscreen over the holiday weekend. The UV index will be high on Saturday 82. Looks really windy Sunday into Memorial Day with highs close to 90 degrees. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. A cold front comes through Tuesday night that will trigger showers and thunderstorms, some potentially severe on Wednesday as we'll cool back down into the mid 70s. Today's weather rating did go up by two points with not as much rainfall on the way today, but again, still cloudy, cool, and damp. It gets a four.